Okay students, in this video we're going to look at blueprints. At their simplest form, blueprints are basically groups that you can use over and over again. But they can be made of any number of types of in-game objects, as well as they can have programming tied to them. Eventually they can be uh, spawned and respawned over and over again, and even made by other blueprints. If we look at this here, this is an overly simple torch that I've made, and it's made up of four pieces. I have here a cylinder that I've resized, a sphere that I've resized, a particle effect, and a light that I, a point light that I made orange, sort of a yellowish orange color. And it took a little bit of time to resize everything and add materials and line it all up. And if I wanted to have a bunch of these in my level, I could copy all of these directly and grab all of the objects and then hold Alt and copy them over. But what I would want to do is instead create a blueprint. So I'm going to select all the pieces So the sphere, the light, the fire, and the cylinder. And I'm going to go to my blueprints drop down. And I'm going to choose convert selected components to blueprint. Now our other option is to make a new empty blueprint, but then I would have had to build this object in there. Since I've already built it in my level, I can just convert. And the first thing it wants to know is where I want to put it. Now by default, when I make an empty blueprint, it makes a blueprint folder for me, which I probably should have made ahead of time. But for here, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it in my content folder, and I'm gonna call it Torch Blueprint. And the first thing it does is it opens up the Blueprint Editor, which is a separate window you can see here above the Unreal window. In here, we still have our Details panel, but it only applies to the objects in the Blueprint. And here you can see the different imported components as well as their shared root. Think of this as the zero, zero in the situation. What you'll note is that the zero, zero is not, it's at the center of the objects. It's not uh, at the base. So that's something that I'd like to fix. I'm gonna select everything. I'm gonna move them up because I would like it to sit sort of right at the zero, zero. And if I select the root, we should be able to see it. All right, that looks all right. I would compile, which has this question mark up here, which is basically like saving, but it also runs the programming that I would have created for this blueprint. But since this blueprint doesn't have any programming, it's fine as is. So we can hit save, hit compile and close it. And as you'll note, now I have a Torch Blueprint object sitting in my content folder. Because I made the change, the existing one I had in the level moved. But now I can drag out additional new ones. And I can very quickly make multiple torches for my scene. Now some important things to know about this. If I go in and change the blueprint, for example, if I select the base here and change it to a different material and then save it, it will change all of the existing blueprints. That doesn't mean that I can't individually change the blueprints if I want to. For example, I can select this blueprint here and if we look over in the details panel, we can see that the components that make up the blueprint are still visible. This means I can click the individual component that I want to change the material on, for example, the stick, and I can change the material here. Doing it this way doesn't change my original blueprint and therefore doesn't change all of the different ones that I've made. This is true even for things like the light or other settings. So here I could make the light on this a different color. I could change some, uh, you know, settings on fire, for example. But it still remains a blueprint, which makes it easy for me to move and do things with. We will be using this ability of blueprints to be the same, but then be individualized quite a bit 
when we make different assets for our game levels.